Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Oracle Database World 2025. Uh, my name is Ilam Siva and I'm a Senior Principal Product Manager with Oracle Database Division. And today we're going to look at TrueCache. Cache use in applications. To accelerate performance, typically applications use a separate cache cluster. Examples include Redis and Memcached. Reads that don't require the most current data are directed to the cache. Writes and current reads generally go to the backend database since that is the source of truth. And there are um, some shortcomings of conventional caches. We'll see that. Um, what we want to highlight is you use a cache to solve a performance problem, but sometimes that also introduces a caching problem, right? And um, so it, it's a different set of problems usually, such as stale data or synchronization of data in your cache cluster, et cetera. Um, and let's see how that is handled in the conventional object caches and how true cache is different. In the conventional object caches, developers are responsible for loading the cache. So when an application starts, it reads the data from the database and loads it in the cache. And subsequently, on each cache miss, the application reads the data from the database loads it in the cache, and then returns the data to the application. And your developers often have to write custom code for loading data in the cache. Now keep in mind, oftentimes the data in the database is in relational format, and the data in the cache is maintained in an object format. So in some cases, in production, when app servers are recycled and cache needs to be warmed up, this can take several hours, which is painstaking for the teams. There's no automatic synchronization. So some developer then has to write code to read relational data from the database, convert it to object format, and populate it in the cache, right? And that can take a long time as well. So there are a lot of things that developers essentially have to do, which is custom code, which is what we wanted to highlight here. Developers are responsible for cache consistency with the database. So data in the cache becomes stale as data in the database gets updated. And developers have to write custom code to keep the cache in sync with the database. Some caches work around this by allowing applications to configure TTL, which is time to live, for the data in the cache. While that is supposed to solve the problem, it doesn't always work very well. And the reason being, if you do frequent invalidations, that reduces your cache effectiveness. And it adds load to the backend database because now you're fetching data from the backend database a lot more. If you counter that with less frequent invalidations, then that results in a higher chance of getting stale data. That's why TTL, while it is one approach, is not always the best approach. Schema changes in the database could also invalidate your entire cache content. As we know, in databases, sometimes schema changes can happen. So how does the cache deal with that? And that is a problem that object caches conventionally face. Developers are also responsible for cache consistency with other caches. In object caches, usually each object is independently maintained, and it is likely to be from a different point in time and therefore inconsistent. So if you think of it like if you have customers or orders, order line items, they are all related, and in databases, you have relationships established to maintain consistency. But in your cache, you have to do this independently, and you have to do this more manually. Otherwise, things won't be consistent or sync with each other. It is hard to keep the data in the cache correct. For this reason, certain types of data are not cached. For example, complex objects with nested relationships are not cached, because then the amount of logic that is needed to keep them consistent is pretty complex. So you either have to write this complex logic, or oftentimes what ends up happening is people don't even cache those objects because they don't want to deal with that. Here is a summary slide showing deficiencies of conventional caches. Things like loading the cache, cache consistency with the database, cache consistency with values in the same cache, as well as with other caches, complex data type support, full JSON support, 
comprehensive security, parallel processing, high availability. All of this falls under the developer responsibility. So developers have to write code to do all these operations. And they also have to maintain their code as time progresses. Let's now take a look at Oracle TrueCache. What is Oracle TrueCache? Oracle TrueCache is an in-memory, consistent, and automatically refreshed SQL and object cache that is deployed in front of an Oracle database. It handles all read SQLs just like Oracle Database. Conceptually, it's like a diskless active data guard standby. One other way to think of this is most people are familiar with a buffer cache in Oracle Database. So you can think of Oracle TrueCache as a buffer cache, an extension of your buffer cache that lives in a different machine. It lives outside of your Oracle Database, but it functions very much like an Oracle Database buffer cache. Data in the true cache is always current and consistent across multiple tables and objects. That is already taken care of for you by Oracle TrueCache. So it spares developers from having the responsibility to do this important and complex operation. Schema changes in the database are also automatically propagated to the cache. So if you need to make schema changes in your primary database, no problem. Oracle TrueCache will automatically handle that because those changes are propagated automatically. TrueCache mitigates deficiencies of conventional caches. Things like loading the cache, cache consistency with database, cache consistency with values in the same cache, as well as with other caches, complex data type support, full JSON support. All of this is automated in TrueCache, whereas the developers have to take care of them in conventional caches. Also, comprehensive security, parallel processing, high availability, things like this are inbuilt into Oracle TrueCache. So you get all of this for free with Oracle TrueCache. TrueCache also supports scaling with partition configuration. Multiple TrueCache instances can be deployed in front of a database for availability, scalability, and caching larger data volumes. So you could, for example, have two TrueCache, one supporting sales data and another supporting HR data for the same primary database. What this allows is it allows you to scale the TrueCache with this kind of partition configuration. And TrueCache also supports pooling data to disk that doesn't fit in the memory, which allows us to cache much more data. Uh, when I say disk here, typically they are like NVMe SSDs, so they are very fast. Uh, and essentially, it provides for low latency access. So it kind of extends the data that you can cache with TrueCache. Global data proximity to your application. For use cases such as data residency, user proximity, and device proximity, applications are sometimes deployed far from the database. In such cases, TrueCache can be deployed near the application to significantly boost read performance. Think of uh, scenarios where your primary database is located in a different country, in a different geographical location, but your application runs and is deployed in a different country, different geographical location. TrueCache is part of the application tier. So it can be deployed near your application, closer to the application, which really boosts read performance. Also, TrueCache doesn't store any data on the disk by default. It is considered a data processing tier, which means that is allowed by data residency regulations. Oftentimes, data residency or data sovereignty regulations uh, prohibit storing or moving data from one country to another country. But they allow processing of data. So TrueCache, because it's a processing tier and doesn't persist and store data on the disk by default, it is fully compliant with data residency and data sovereignty regulations. 
True cache use cases. True cache can be deployed as a mid-tier cache where you know it helps for read performance. It can be used as an edge cache where you want device proximity or user proximity. It can also be used as a cross-region cache, like we talked about for data residency regulations, data sovereignty regulations, as well as to just you know have your true cache closer to wherever your application resides. True cache can be also deployed in the cross-cloud cache when we talk about multi-cloud approaches. For example, there are cases where a user may have the database in Oracle OCI cloud, but their application may be in a different, like Oracle Azure. In which case, true cache can be deployed on Oracle Azure in this example, which is closer to your application. So it also supports a cross-cloud cache use case. True cache provides various benefits to the business. It provides a lot of cost savings because it improves application performance without rewriting the applications. And this is significant because, as most enterprise users know, rewriting applications are very expensive. They're error-prone, requires a lot of testing, requires a lot of integration testing, things like that. So anything that can improve application performance without rewriting the applications is a huge cost savings. There's no additional investment needed in additional caching products and learning additional caching skills because TrueCache is pretty much like your Oracle database, it, it supports all Oracle database functionality. TrueCache is a single cache for different data types and formats, document, relational, row, and columnar. It offloads caching to commodity hardware from the database. Your primary database might be on more expensive hardware, but now with TrueCache, you could put TrueCache on commodity hardware, so you could offload caching to such commodity hardware. TrueCache also it supports the stronger security that comes with Oracle Database. So you can be confident that your data in the cache is very secure. It also has the ability to leverage full power of Oracle Database. Let's look at some customer use case examples. One of the largest stock exchanges in the world, they evaluated TrueCache to offload read queries for stock tickers to TrueCache with 10 terabytes of cached data, which is a large amount of data that's cached. But their overall database is like 200 terabytes. So you don't have to cache all 200 terabytes, right? But you can cache still a significant 10 terabytes of cached data. They had six true cache instances for load balancing purposes. And uh, that would have normally, to do something like this, would have required a 200 node Redis cluster. And they're able to just do that with six true cache instances. And that too, it's mainly for load balancing. A single true cache instance can still handle the 10 terabytes of cache data. A popular mobile phone manufacturer evaluated cache for offloading read-only queries to true cache since the primary is maxed out with vertical scaling. A leading financial institution offloads fraud detection application AI model inferencing to true cache. The models are trained once a day, and most fraud detection queries are read-only, lending itself well to something like a true cache. Another institution using true cache for evaluating true cache for real-time marketing campaigns. Since data and conventional caches can get stale, and they don't normally allow for in-the-moment adjustments, true cache, because of its current data capabilities, allow for real-time marketing campaigns to be employed. Oracle Fusion applications also evaluate TrueCache for business object layer for objects that don't change as often. And some of these business objects can be complex in terms of nested relationships. Oracle Banking application testing to offload reads to TrueCache for the core banking application, which is read intensive. Key differentiators for Oracle TrueCache. Oracle TrueCache is the most fully featured SQL and object cache supporting all of Oracle's SQL features. Oracle TrueCache also automates data refresh to maintain consistency with the cache on the primary database, solving one of the important problems in caching. Oracle TrueCache supports full Oracle database capabilities with all Oracle data types, advanced security, and high performance. 
It also has support for leading-edge AI, such as vector search, to enable semantic cache. To learn more and try these technologies yourself, here's a slide that has some links. You can go and try TrueCache on Oracle Live Labs. You can also go to the website to read more about Oracle TrueCache and see the videos and presentations there, as well as blogs. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. And I really hope you give Oracle TrueCache a try and it helps your business and your applications. Thank you.